Hello everybody! My name is Mr. Chin and have I got a story for you? Oh yeah! This week our story is all about our old friend David and a nasty man called Saul. Now that's not the same Saul as last time. Oh no! This Saul was a king. In fact he was the king of Israel just before David was. Are you ready to help me again? Good! Here we go. When I say sing or song, I want you all to go la la. When I say spear, I want to hear a swing as you throw hard. When I say cave, you all behave like you just cannot see. When I say poo, I want from you a sound that goes foo wee. Okay, are we ready? Then let's begin our story. When David was a young man, he worked for Saul the king. Whenever Saul was feeling sad, he made young David sing. Now, Saul was quite a nasty king. His heart was full of pride. But our man Dave was not afraid. Because God was on his side. Everyone liked David. They all loved the songs he sang. And that made King Saul angry. Because he was a jealous man. He said, I've had enough of this. And grabbed a nearby spear. He let it fly with all his might and aimed for David's ear. Now, David was a wise young man and thought, it's time to go. I don't think I should hang around and risk another throw. So off he ran to hide away from Saul the grumpy king. But Saul said, I'm not having that. I'll see the death of him. So, David ran away until he found a nice big cave. He thought, I'll hide in there until King Saul learns to behave. But King Saul was relentless and came searching with his soldiers. He looked around the mountains and then behind the boulders. Then King Saul had to go inside a cave to have a poo. And guess who else was in there? That's right, Dave and all his crew. David's men says, now it's your chance, kill him with your knife. But David was a man of honour and he spared King Saul's life. David crept behind the king, even though the cave was stinking. And all Dave's men were puzzled. They couldn't tell what he was thinking. He drew his knife, but only cut a piece from Saul's cloak and let the king just walk away. Wow, what a decent bloke. David went out after Saul and showed him what he'd done. Saul said, I came to kill you, but you didn't even run. Instead, today you spared my life. That's such a noble thing. You honoured me and therefore I know God will make you king. Wow, what a great story. David was a man of honour and he didn't kill King Saul because he trusted in God and he knew that God could sort it all out. And that's just what God did. Because after Saul died, God made David the king. And everyone remembered what a king of honour he was. So, remember everyone, Mr Chin say, never forget how much God loves you. He thinks you're brilliant. Because he honours you, you can honour other people too. Goodbye. Hi.